In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a histogram in R. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to come up here and get the proper libraries imported. And what we are going to need is the tidyverse library. So I'm going to go ahead and type that out. Let's go ahead and run this code. So you can see down here, the code has been run. So let's go ahead and we'll jump down a couple of lines. The next thing we need to do is make our data frame. And I actually am going to import a CSV file to do this. So let's go ahead and type in DF. And we now need to be able to read the data frame that we're going to pull in. So what we're going to do, so we're going to come over here and we're going to type in read.csv. Then we're going to open our parentheses and I'm just going to plug in the title of my CSV. And one of the things you are going to, want to make sure you do is save your CSV file if you are importing one to the proper working directory. Let's go ahead and finish typing this out. And we'll type in dot CSV right here. And let's go ahead and run this code. Looks like everything is working properly. So let's go ahead and make sure we can type in view data frame right here and run this code and what you'll see is our csv data frame has automatically loaded in so you can see we have a lot of data here we have age female we can see we have real estate purchases value of investments some other things such as that but let's go ahead and jump back over to our code and now we're ready that now that we have our data set in to actually build our histogram so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and use ggplot and what we're going to do is open this up and we're going to type in data and our data is going to be equal to our data frame so we'll just do data equals data frame we'll come over here and do plus we'll go ahead and come down and we're actually now going to build out our histogram so we'll do geome underscore and type out histogram you can see right here it's already an option so you can click that if you'd like and then we're going to do mapping is equal to aes we'll open this up and we're going to make x equal to age so we're gonna make a histogram with the age so now we have all the data and we have our histogram built out so let's go ahead and run this code here so i'll click on run and it looks like we made a slight error as you can see right here that's something you have to get used to working on but if we jump over to our data frame it looks like it's because we didn't capitalize the a in age so let's jump back over we will make that correction here and now let's go ahead and try to run this again and I'll hit run and there you go you can see we have created a histogram using R in R studio so that is how you build out a histogram in R thank you guys so much for watching this quick tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel